artist that is so hot, it makes no sense. And trust me, this girl is no joke when it comes to her skill. She's here to hit you with her latest single. The song on the Virgin label is entitled Playa No More, and her name is Crystal Sierra. <laughs> Crystal Sierra. Yes, how are you? House. I'm very well. <laughs> Welcome to the train. Thank you for having me here. Oh, it's a pleasure. You got your whole crew with you banging hard. You from all over the world. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. You are? Rudy from Cuba. Uh oh. Lenny from El Salvador. All right. Let me come over here and meet my man. Taz from St. Louis. All right. Misty from Texas. Style skills from Brooklyn, Puerto Rico. Look at him. Look at him. Out here representing for your girl, <laughs> Crystal Sierra. <laughs> You guys are hot. Thank now, you so much. Now, let's talk about your sound. Okay. Right? You got a little urban hip-hop jumping, and you got a little Latin going on. Now, from the outside looking in, those two worlds don't collide, but you made it happen. Exactly. So, I mean, how'd you go about creating that flavor? Well, first of all, I knew that there was no way I could do one style of who I am without right. doing, you know, salsa music. Right. You know, and because I am mixed, it was very appropriate for me to present who I am as an artist and what I grew up listening to, which is a combination of salsa music, hip-hop, you know, pop, mainstream music. So, I couldn't do one without the other. Man, you know? I mean, was it hard for you to get people to catch on to what you were trying to do? At first, at first, you know, because I couldn't go in the store and just grab a CD and say, this is who I want to, you right. know, sing like, right. or this is the sound of music I'm speaking about. So it was more like me getting in the studio with producers and collaborating and bringing mm -hmm. some of Dad's old records right. to the studio right. and going, listen to this. Now, can you mix this with your beat, with your hip-hop 
track, you right. know, like what I did with Swiss Beats. So where did your influences come from? I mean, this is your, really a new thing. So, I mean, how did you know, I mean, who did you listen to to get your style? I grew up listening to Stevie Wonder, okay. Celia Cruz, mm -hmm. Willie Colon, Johnny Pacheco, uh -huh. all of the big salsa bands like Grupo Nietzsche, mm -hmm. um, you know, a variety of music. You know? Now, you earned your way to the top, and you can tell I just did. by listening to it. You I went to did. the Baltimore High School of Performing Arts. Yes. A certain Mr. Tupac Shakur went there. Yes. You went to Berklee College of Music in Boston. Yes. You're paying your dues. I, I You're am. You're serious. I am. You I mean, know? I didn't want to be like, um, you know, just getting on the stage singing and not really knowing what goes on behind. And mm -hmm. I also wanted to write, too. You know, mm -hmm. I wrote like 10 songs on the album. Oh, okay. So um, I wanted to make sure that I knew what was really behind music. So I studied the, all the ear training, the mm -hmm. um, voice lessons, and all of that stuff. Girl, we can tell you know what you're doing. <laughs> I mean, you, you obviously fine as I don't know Thank what. You. You're Thank you. You're out of shaking your stuff, but you know what you're doing. You got skills. You're blessed. I wish you continued success. Thank you so girl, much. I can't let you leave. The fellas out there will tackle me if you don't come out here and do another one. Okay. Will you do that? I will. You heard I it, will. fellas. Ladies, <laughs> you got to give her love. This is Crystal Sierra.